We want our children and grandchildren to come to London as paying tourists, not as illegal immigrants. They need economic opportunity. They need to grow their economies. We need a world where you have inclusive economic growth and inclusive globalization. Africa today is where everybody is going. We're sitting on huge reserves of the world's minerals, but it cannot be mercantilism. It cannot be a world where people say, well, we just go there for raw materials. They need an opportunity to grow, and if people don't think it is serious, African population will be 1.3 billion by 2030, 2.2 billion by 2050, the most populous continent. Where will their kids have jobs? If they don't have jobs, what do they do? There will be instability, there will be riots. They will head for Europe. So I say to my European friends, it's about enlightened self-interest. We create wealth down south and opportunity. Those are your future markets. We create wealth down south. They come home here to London to spend money as paying tourists, not as illegal aliens. People want dignity, they want economic opportunity, they want hope. We believe energy is right central in ensuring and driving that growth and opportunity they need to add value to their products, to add value to their minerals, to add value to their agricultural produce. You need energy right in the center. It's not about charity. It's about enlightened self-interest. These are the numbers we're looking at, 2.2 billion by 2050. I say to my friends, you can't build fences in Morocco to keep them out, even with the fences. In 2006, 30,000 died trying to cross with boats to Canary Island. When they're 2.2 billion, you can stop them. What you do is create economic opportunities south. Mercantilism is not good. It creates instability when people lose hope. When they lose hope, they do bad things. I know. We had war in Sierra Leone for 11 years. They even did a movie, Blood Diamonds. We don't want that narrative in the 21st century. We want a narrative of opportunity, of prosperity, and inclusive growth. Thank you very much.